Joining us now is the CEO of Social Flow, Jim Anderson. Social Flow helps companies manage their social media posts and analyzes vast amounts of social media trends. So is the president right when he says he doesn't need the mainstream media anymore because he has Twitter? Uh, no, is the short answer. Uh, he's got 46 million followers on Twitter. He's very active on Twitter. As we all know, he did 16 or 17 tweets yesterday. The problem is, is less than 1% of his followers see any of those tweets. He does get some retweet action, but really the lion's share of his attention comes from the media. Television, newspapers, whatever it is, picking it up and re -airing. Everybody picking it up. So he, he's right. He does have a platform, and he is able to set the agenda and dictate what everybody's going to talk about over the course of the day, but it's the mainstream media that covers what he says that gives him the reach. Look at Netflix. That stock is way down today. You've got a little bug in the bottom of your screen. It's down 46 points as we speak. $46. All right, Jim, if they've got competition, what is the competition? Well, the competition is everybody. I mean, tech companies. I mean, we, we know about Hulu. We know about Amazon. But Facebook is investing a billion dollars in the watch tab. You've got Google. You've got Apple. It's interesting. I heard some of your previous guests being very bullish. Nobody's talking about churn, right? If, if you've got 124 million, 124 million customers, you've got a leaky bucket problem, right? If they have 10% churn a quarter, that's 12 million customers that are leaving that they have to replace. So that's where your scale in a subscription business really starts to be a challenge is you lose 10% of your customers, you've got to get 12 million and customers just to replace the ones who left. Can somebody look at this and say, well, everybody's talking about this, which means that it's not going to go away and adds legitimacy to cryptocurrencies, so I should go out and buy Bitcoins. Well, I think, unfortunately, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot about what you should be investing in. I'm reminded of the old adage, you know, that people who predict the future, you call them futurists. People who can predict when things are going to happen, you call them billionaires, right? <laughs> so that there's a lot of chatter. You know, we've got a graph there that shows the reach of uh, Bitcoin on Facebook and the conversations almost exactly yeah. mirrors the, the rise of Bitcoin uh, in terms of value. But what happens is after a bubble pops, those lines diverge. Jim, this goes to the heart of what we really were going to be talking about today, which is how to uh, best serve both advertisers as well as users of a variety of different platforms online, uh, bringing them together while also compensating content providers. How do you see that transforming the way that advertisers work? Well, it already has. I mean, look at the valuation of Google, look at the valuation of Facebook, and you can you can see that a huge portion of the digital advertising dollars are going to the companies that do that most effectively. And so there is a tracking component, and usually people perceive that negatively because tracking sounds invasive, but there's also a tailoring and a relevance component. I mean, when you go on to Facebook or Google or any other platform, you, you want to see content that's interesting to you. So there's really a, a negative and a positive side of that, and, and right or wrong, the big tech platforms, Facebook, and Google, most notably, have been the most successful, and the market has recorded, rewarded them accordingly. Jim Anderson's the CEO of Social Flow. It works with social media companies, and he's also a commentator on social media and technology. He's joining us now from New York City. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on Al Jazeera, sir. Is this a reflection of consumers' confidence purely in Apple, or is it more a confidence in the tech sector as a whole? I think it's both. The tech sector it, it surely has been performing phenomenally. The growth in these tech companies had a few bumps lately with earnings releases the past couple of weeks, but still, you're talking about companies that are worth more than half a trillion dollars. And now for Apple to get to this one trillion dollar remark is, is certainly it's the best of the best. All of these tech companies are being rewarded for stellar growth, and sometimes they're punished. When we saw what happened to Facebook, you know, Facebook had record earnings a, a couple of weeks ago, and it was punished pretty badly because the growth was not quite what was expected. You look at Apple's numbers, and the growth was there. And so clearly, the market loves when the tech companies continue to grow. They know they know how to turn that growth into profit. Tara Joseph was talking about global markets. You're now going to talk about global social media and what you're seeing out there. What have you got? Yeah, so we've been tracking media consumption, of course, all day. And earlier today, we talked about the international consumption of stories about the U.S. election. Maybe 20 or 30 percent of the stories being consumed in, in certain countries were about the U.S. election. We have a striking change now. Of mm -hmm. course, it's now Wednesday morning in Russia. Mm -hmm. And so of the top five stories that have been clicked on in Russia, four of those five are about the U.S. Election. Again, not surprisingly, they're paying very close attention. Right. You jump on to China here, 
Five we have some charts, of the chart yeah. here that we can. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Five There's of China. the top five uh, stories in China. So literally <laughs> every one of the top five stories in China is about the U.S. election. So uh, okay. clearly uh, paying a tremendous amount of attention. India is a little bit different. Only two of the top five uh, are about the election, and then Japan is similar here. And so as we get progressively more into the the workday, of course, Europe. It's still like the middle Poke of the night. Pokemon Go <laughs> still, <laughs> Pokemon comes, Go in still comes in at in. number two. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Okay.